Hi there, Lee Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And just want to cover how to create uh, an iridescent shading effect in Arnold. So I've got a robot head model here with a default standard surface shader assigned to it. And I'm going to start off by increasing the metalness. And then go down to Coat, increase the coat weight. I want to connect a, a ramp RGB to the coat color. And I'm going to change the colors of the ramp to red, green, and blue. Like so. And to get the colors to appear on the, the outer edge, the grazing angles of the object, we need to change the type of the ramp to custom and connect a facing ratio to the input of the ramp. That will give us the effect that we want. Okay, so that's the ramp RGB going to the coat color and the facing ratio going into the ramp RGB. So now we can use the facing ratio bias and gain to tweak the effect. So lowering the bias values decreases the slope and lowers the overall values. So we're getting more red now. So we go lower values, we increase it, we go more to the blue. And we lower the gain values, that kind of just increases the contrast, the effect. So I'm going to have these back to 0.5. We can also invert the effect, so we're getting reds in the center and the blue in the outer edge. So if you want to see more of that blue, you can just bring the bias back down again and enabling linear output, so linear normalized angle instead of the end eye. To give us even more control, we could use a color correct shader. And insert that in between the standard surface shader and the ramp. So out color to the quick color. And then the ramp to the input, uh, color correct. So now we can use the hue shift of the color correct to cycle between the colors, like so. Maybe we want to desaturate the colors, make it a bit more subtle. And could also reduce the multiply. More of a burnt metal effect. Could also add a, a noise shader to the hue shift to blend the colors together a bit more naturally. I'm going to use a cell noise, up color to the shift. If we increase the number of octaves and change the noise to some worthy too. You can start to see the colors blending in via the noise. Okay, so that's how to use the facing ratio with the ramp shader to create an iridescent shading effect in Arnold. Thanks for watching and bye for now.